Well, hello, hello, hello. Much love to you all. May God bless you all. I have some news updates to give you today. Uh, there's more signs of times that are going on and continuing to update on some things going on. Uh, Facebook is ramping its crackdowns on Christian content. Um, and um, the Satanic Temple is back in the news, the place where we had went uh, at SatanCon to preach against. And Iran is back in the news about a new underground nuclear site and a huge 6.1 aftershock that is causing a lot of roar, and there's increased underwater volcanic activity happening in a location. Uh, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we will be doing um, the second of the seven churches in Revelation. This one will be the Church of Smyrna and the Synagogue of Satan. So um, join in tonight and uh, help us to continue to fight against all this stuff on here. Like this. Hit the like button share it and comment it's the only way we can fight up against this because they're going to um not not just this company facebook youtube's going to get worse at it too remember it was not too long ago i'll put a link if you don't if if people had missed it at the end of this that may 18th may 21st there was a secret meeting in portugal that is talking about companies like google which owns youtube facebook uh chat um, the, the chat GPT AI creators and all that, they were all coming together about stuff. And Facebook is once again ramping up its hate speech. I'm not going to go very far, but right here, Jesus died so you can live. And this is called hate speech. Um, this is the world we're living in. They violated, it said he violated the hate speech and remove the post. Uh, very bizarre. No, it's not really bizarre. It's the, it's the days and times we're in. This is going to happen. It's the days and times. But remember, we went and preached up against what the Satanic Temple was doing. Well, they are doing a uh, donation to have a LGBTQ camp in Florida. Uh, Satan's Good Works campaign for Camp Out where we can just tell your children about becoming transgender. It's exactly what this is about. This is sickening, and these people are an abomination to this world that they're teaching it to our children. They are an abomination, and it's getting on my nerves and many other people's nerves that they keep pushing this stuff down our children's throat. Um, so this is something that they are throwing together to bring a huge get-together this summer we're trying to do a get together this summer too with everybody july 7th through 9th uh a lot of you so far uh, at least 30 are talking about coming um so let's try to do this camp out together uh to be in fellowship because i mean after all people are making huge efforts to have a camp out in this world to tell your children it's okay to be gay um so we got to continue to pray. We got to continue to speak the truth. These links will be in the description. But um, we're going to get into this. Is Iran's new underground nuke site a dire threat in the light of potential arsenal? I do believe it is. We've been kind of keeping our eyes on what they've been doing. And when all the earthquakes happened in Turkey and Syria, they were given humanitarian aid to Syria, but really they were sending bombs to bomb Israel. I do think this is going to be a threat. Um, it's, it's, it's a huge threat. Um, no one is trying to stop Iran from having nuclear bombs. And they are one of those nations that if they get one, I don't think they absolutely care about anything. Um, it says that they have 60% and 20% enriched uranium for potential five nuclear weapons. We report on that about a month ago. Um, but that's not it. That, that was the old news. Now they got this underground facility that they've been working on. It says, if there have been debates about whether Israel could successfully strike Tehran's underground nuclear facility at Fordow, um, placed under a 960-meter mountain, a, the concerns jump significantly with the new facility placed under a 1,608-meter uh, mountain. Uh, they got this place pretty deep in the ground, almost to where you would not be able to stop um, the out of, uh, I mean, countenance by a mountain too. This is pretty deep in the ground. 
Um, so like I said, these links will be in the description. Add in that Iran is around two weeks away from being able to convert 60% enriched uranium to 90% weaponized level. We're talking two weeks. We're talking around the first week of June. They can have a 90% weaponized level. And this is this is huge. Um, guys, this is a nation that has talked about taking Israel out, wiping them off the face of the earth for a very long time. And as soon as they get this facility underway, this could spell huge trouble for the Israelis as we know it. Now, there was a huge 6.1 aftershock that hits the southeast of the Loyal Islands. That's a huge aftershock that has happened. Um, and the strong aftershock registered at a 6.1, knowing that it comes from the USGS, it was possibly you know, a few points higher than that. They always kind of downplay them a little bit. Uh, it was at a depth of 7.5 miles or 12.1 kilometers. Uh, this is the fourth six-plus earthquake to hit the region since May 19th. We're talking a four-day span. They had the 7.7, then the 7.1, a 6.5, and now a 6.1. These are huge. And look at how many of they had in this location. This this is very huge. This is along a, a very predominant area that is we got to keep a watch on. Um we know that earthquakes will happen in diverse places, and the level and the magnitude of these earthquakes have been extremely, extremely big. Uh, you know, the Turkey and Syria ones, it was like constant, one after another. Uh, we did the reports there for a while, and then we kind of died off talking about them, but uh, they had some 30,000 somewhat aftershocks in like a couple weeks, remember. Well, now we're looking at, they're having quite a few I mean, a 7.7, a 7.1, a 6.5, and a 6.1, these are predominant earthquakes, very predominant. This is right along all these areas right here. The, these little islands, they, they're under tsunami warnings, of course. And, uh, you know, no, no wonder why they're not under tsunami warnings because we're talking, these are pretty big earthquakes. Um now, one more I want to go to. I want to go to that there has been an increased underwater volcanic activity. Um, something else to watch here. Uh, you remember um, Tonga not too long ago. It was an underwater um, volcano. And we're starting to get a lot of these. It's raised up to a yellow advisory. This is uh, almost a code red. We're not far from that. But... Um, here is the location that it's at. It says on April 24th and 25th of 2021, an explosion eruption was detected. And um, this event, this event was well constrained at a location near the southern base of I. Um, an eruption of May uh, of April through May of 2014 was uh, detected as well. So it's a location that has had some things happen before, but this is a pretty good little space of time. It's almost like it's a little overdue. Um, this was on May 22nd of this year that they uh, indicated a spike in the underwater volcanic activity. Um, so continue to keep our eyes on this stuff. Like I said, tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, we will be doing the second of the seven churches, the Church of Smyrna. Join in with us, fellowship with us. And if anyone's still wanting to uh, um, come out, um, also look in the description. Uh, we have a Discord. We have a Telegram. I will maybe start doing some voice things back and forth with people on there once I try to figure out a time frame of having all these new social medias. Um, I, I just, I got to work around all this and figure this time frame out, but it's also a way for us to make sure we're getting notified because they're not notifying people. So please hit the like button, share this out and much.